Hey guys, LC Fever here, and welcome to my team of the season Handanovic player review. So I originally picked up this guy for 200k, and I saw last night they'd already dropped to 150k, so I sold him before the release of the guaranteed SBCs in case he goes down even more, so that's why he's classed as a concept player. Anyway, this is the team I used him in, of course start with Handanovic in net, Florenzi, Koulibaly, Manolas and Gulam in defence, Mitweedy, Nangolin, Bonaventura and Tim Season Gomez in midfield, along with Dybala and second form Icardi in strike. Sami Handanovic is 6 foot 4 which is a good height for a goalkeeper. He's got the traditional save technique, he's right footed and has a 2 star weak foot and 1 star skill move. So moving into the clips I'll start with his positives like always. First his reflexes were good, he reacts well to most shots and makes the right type of save in order to have the best possible chance at stopping the shot. Next is diving which for me is the best thing about the card. His height also ties into why it's so good. His reach is amazing and he managed to get an important touch on shots to prevent them from going in. Some of the clips in the footage look like they either just went wide or just hit the post, but Handanovic actually managed to get a slight touch on most of them to stop my opponent from scoring. He moves well before diving, as some keepers just dive and don't always manage to reach the ball. The final positive I have for Handanovic is his shot blocking ability. When he can, he puts his whole body behind the ball to stop it, so I didn't notice any balls deflecting off him into the goal. Before going into the negatives, I want to mention his ability against long shots, as this is a problem that his normal card faces. I did concede one long shot that he's definitely at fault for from Gabriel Jesus, but apart from that he did okay. There's one other shot from Ericsson that did hit the crossbar and went in, and although I feel he could have done better, I'm not going to put him at fault for the goal. However, this leads into the first negative, which is his positioning. I noticed that he stands quite far off his line, which if given more time could be an issue with people if they regularly concede long shots. It also felt like occasionally he lost track of where he was and could easily be beaten by passes across the goal. So overall, the stat of 95 just isn't good enough for me in game. The next thing for me, which was the main negative, was that he parries the ball back into a dangerous area. I'm not going to blame his handling for this as it was okay, but from the initial shot when he makes the first save, it often remains close to the goal rather than pushing it out for a corner or a throw in. Some keepers do this more than others, and there doesn't seem to be a reason why, but unfortunately, Handanovic allows too many possibilities for second chances. Another issue I found was he could also be too overly cautious. Handanovic noticeably pushes the ball over the top of the crossbar more than other keepers, when he could easily just catch the ball, and based on how easy it can be to score corners this year, this is a problem with the card. Finally, the last negative I found was that after making the first save, he seemed slow to get back onto his feet, making it hard to make double saves where necessary. I did notice that if a second chance opened up, Handanovic would still be on the floor and he'd try to make a second dive a little close to the player, but for the most part, this wasn't enough to make a convincing attempt at a save. Overall, I'm going to give Handanovic a 7 out of 10. He's a decent keeper, but for the money you'll pay, there are better alternatives. He's the highest rated keeper I've ever played with, and he didn't match my expectations in the slightest. I had high hopes that he'd be almost unbeatable in goal, but unfortunately he lacks qualities in some important areas. If you're a fan of Handanovic's cards, then I'd suggest sticking with his 90 overall in form, as he plays almost the same. Comparing the two cards, he has a boost of 3 in diving, reflexes and positioning, which isn't good enough to say he's gone up by 5 overall. Most of the boosts come in the form of speed and kicking. Alternatively, if you're looking for any keeper in the Calcio A, I'd recommend Donnarumma's 86 card, as I feel he's one of the best keepers I've used in the league. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment asking questions or to request any future content.